how you desire trolls and in today's show will be showing you how to make exploding text in Cinema 4D. And today we're going to be using uh, the Throsy plugin, and the plugin is free, so you can just find it on Google or YouTube, and you can just download it for free. You can also buy it, but uh, I just downloaded it for free. So I'm using Cinema 4D R12 version, so it might be a little bit different from the other versions. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, now let's open Cinema 4D. And um, create a plane. Uh, make it bigger and um, go to MoGraph, Mode Text, and name your text. Okay, um, increase the depth to 80 and font. I use ethnocentric. Okay, um, go to caps, fill it cap, and fill it cap. Steps 8 and radius 6. And that gave the text a nice edge. Uh, and drag the plane to wherever you want it to be. Okay, um, now uh, we're gonna have only one letter broken up by Throsy. So um, select this text and hold control, click C, hold control, click V. Now we copied the text. Um, now select the first text. Go to uh, select the object and erase the O. Well, whatever letter you want to explode, you erase it. In this case, I'm, I want the O to explode, so I'm going to erase the O. And the second text, um, erase everything, but leave O. Okay, um, now select the first text. Uh, Click C on the keyboard. Now find where it says uh, uh, the second half of your text and drag it to whatever position you think the O is going to fit in. And then select the second text and drag the O into that position. And now go to the first text and do the same again until the letter fits. Okay, um, now we're gonna break up the letter O. Um, so go to plugins, throw C, throw C, break it up 10 pieces, break now. Um, so now we have uh, a lot of big chunks. So uh, in realistic explosion, you have small chunks and big chunks. So to make it realistic, grab one of the chunks and um, go to plugins, Rousey, and break it up again as many pieces as you want to. Okay, um, break another one. Let's break it up 65 pieces. So we just want it all random. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. Um, now, oops, now select uh, the O and um, yeah, actually, we already have a dynamics tag here, so uh, now what we have to do is add um, a sphere and drag the sphere into the middle of the O. Okay. Um, Drag it up and then add a dynamics body to sphere, to sphere, to sphere. And to do that, if you're using an R11 version, then you right click on the sphere and you go to MoGraph tags, and there should be a uh, dynamics tag or something like that, or um, a rigid body, create rigid body probably. But I'm using R12, so in this version, you go to simulation dynamics. Uh, create rigid body and yeah let's see that 
so as you can see the ladder breaks but uh, it's gonna fall through so to prevent that we select our plane and go to simulation dynamics create collider uh, for R11 version you just right click and go to MoGraph tags and it's gonna be uh, create rigid body it's gonna do the same thing so it's gonna create a collider and uh, now let's see the ball makes everything explode uh, we can drag it up if you don't want it to jump like that you can just drag it up and let's see but if you want it to explode violently then you can just drag it down and then it's gonna jump up but uh, as you can see we have this sphere that's covering our text and that looks ugly so uh, to make it invisible right click on the sphere go to cinema 4d tags compositing and uncheck all of these and now it should be invisible so as you can see the sphere is invisible but the text still breaks and now we have a problem here because it explodes right away and you might not want that you might let's say want it to explode at frame uh, maybe 70 so go to frame 70 um, select uh, the sphere select that dynamics body tag and uh, go to and where it says enabled disable that uncheck that and uh, hold control and click on the little circle until it's red and uh, now it's disabled so if we play this only the text is gonna crumble but it's not gonna blow up and when you want it to blow up go to that frame like maybe three frames after on the 70 so it's 73 frames and now check it now it's enabled and hold control and uh, click on the circle so now it's well it's gonna blow up but uh, we have the text crumbling so we don't want that so select the text select dynamics uh, uh, oh my god my friend is calling I'm sorry about that um, select it wow select the uh, dynamics body tag and um, go to trigger on collision so <laughs> now it flies off okay it looks kind of weird if you don't want it to look like that then just drag the oops uh, select the sphere and drag it up and um, yeah now it shouldn't it still explodes pretty fast but it, at least it doesn't um, you know everything doesn't just fly away like that just mess around with it until you like it and um, maybe we can make this smaller so so that it doesn't so that the bottom pieces don't just stay in place whatever do whatever you want now until you like the results so uh, I'm just gonna leave it with this and uh, now we uh, in the intro in the beginning that you saw there's slow motion so if you want slow motion then um, go to the frame where you want the time to stop and um, go to edit project settings and uh, go to dynamics time scale 100 and hold control click on the little circle where it says time scale and then go to like five frames after and uh, reduce the time scale to like um, three or four and uh, hold control and click, and click on the little circle again and now let's watch this again as you can see the text kind of stops and we don't have enough frames so to increase frames just go here and increase more, add more frames and let's play this again Okay, so now we have our slow motion uh, 
slow, slow motion uh, pieces. Now um, we don't have lighting, so go to light and select light, drag it up and in front of the text, and then uh, select the light and go to shadow map soft and uh, visible light volumetric. And then change the color to whatever you want. Uh, I'll just have it uh, as red. And now render this. So um, now it's all red. And um, yeah. If you don't like the color of the text, you can change it. Whatever you wanna, you want it to be. Oh, okay. We'll keep it red, and we'll keep the inside. We'll make the inside blue. Okay, let's see that. Okay, so it's red on outside, and when it blows up, it should be blue on the inside. Oh, uh, we probably won't be able to see the inside color because of this lighting. So, yeah, we probably won't be able to see that. But we can change the color for the rest of the text. Uh, so go to Reflection, select Reflection, Texture, Francel, and add it to the rest of the text. Just add it to the Mo text and uh, enter this. So now it looks pretty nice. And then um, if you want the camera to spin around, just add camera and go to camera, scene cameras, camera, and go to the first frame and where you want the camera to be to start off. Uh, and then add a keyframe, then play it and then just drag the camera wherever you want it to be and uh, add a keyframe and then drag it until the point where it blows up and add a keyframe so now let's play this and now when it goes slow motion um, just place your camera wherever you want it to be and add a keyframe then go further and just make the camera spin around add a keyframe and then go even further and spin the camera and then add a key another keyframe so now let's play this So, uh, as you can see, it looks pretty nice now. If we render this, it's going to be a red light. We can make it bigger. I think it's too small. So, I think we're pretty much done with the tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial, you guys. Um, I hope you like it. Please favor this video and uh, thumbs up. And thank you for watching again. Alright, Charles, and yeah.